Hi, I'm Matt with Anthem Geo Mobile Solutions. Today we're going to show you the best way to determine your antenna height once it's mounted on a survey pole. So we know what number to enter for the antenna height value in your mapping app, such as collector, or what height to subtract out of our elevations when we're back in the office. So the important thing to remember is that even though your survey pole that you purchased may have been a two meter survey pole, the actual center of the antenna is a little bit higher than our two meters. And it's better just to measure it yourself and know exactly what it is. And to do that, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, just grab a piece of paper, put it on your wall about the height of the antenna once it's mounted. And then the other thing you want to do is make sure you've got a hard surface. You don't wanna set this on the carpet because it's going to alter your actual measurement accuracy. So now that I've got a hard surface, I'm going to come up here, the key is I want to make sure that I bubble level my survey pole. And then what we want to do specifically for this brand, this is the Aero Gold RTK receiver. For this one, we want to know what the height of the top of this antenna plane is, this magnet plate. So what we're going to do is just mark the top of this, the line. And then I'm just going to set this aside real quick. And with a tape measure, now that I've got my hard surface, I can determine the height of my survey pole, which is 79.75 inches. Okay, now what we have to do is figure out what our face center is. Now keep in mind what we're determining here is specifically for the arrow gold antenna height. So if you can see on the bottom here of the antenna plate, EOS has provided a diagram to show you where the face center is on the arrow gold's antenna. So you can see in parentheses we have inches. So the distance we need is from the top of the ground plane to the face center, which is 0.41 inches. So if we take our original 79.75 inches that we measured against the wall, we add the face center height of 0.41 inches. That gives us an antenna height of 80.16 inches or 2.036 meters. And this is the value that you'll wanna put into your mapping application for your antenna height or back to the office, subtract out for your elevation. So I hope this helps, and again, it's best to measure it yourself so you know exactly what your antenna height, but if you have any other questions, go ahead and send us an email or visit our website at agsgis.com. Thanks.